Uh, and there's another question. Uh, what do you think about the certifications? Is it just uh, another uh, paper or is just it, try, it will get you into the door? Do people take it seriously nowadays or so what do you think? It's a, how should I say this? It, like it can be, can be useful, can be absolute waste of time. Like when I see, sometimes I see people um, learning for these certifications and just doing the certification for the, for the paper reason, like that they have the certification. Then I think it's quite useless. Like uh, some people go even further and they don't, that when the, when there are the, like the certifications and then you have the test that they use sources and then just buy the test and then just do the test and never really did the, the, the actual lessons. Uh, that, then I think it's not really as useful um, to do it. Uh, like what I, what I know from your case, Ram, that with your, uh, with your Azure certification that you've did, that's more of when, when it makes sense. You use it all the time. You want to get more knowledge in that because they have a lot of detailed knowledge in these you, you know that and that that might bring you further um, but you then use that to actually yeah, to take the next step but just going going there and and getting a certification because you think you will be then getting that job this this will not work like it, it needs to have a balance um, some companies require you to have a certification yeah that's yeah that's it that's true but some people they have the skills but they don't have certification so they don't get interviews right? <sighs> is it possible right it can can be yeah like if you and this can be can be very very quickly you don't have uh you don't have some sort of a um of a resource where you uh, or, or proof of work right you're only working at the job and at the job you're uh, you cannot show what you've done to the public or to somebody else you're it's confidential so but then how should another employer then um, evaluate how good you are it's very very hard a certification helps with that but a certification alone will not is is not the the driving factor is this a is this a good developer or, or, or good engineer or not so yeah it's more the package if you have a good engineer and that that person has a very well known track record and you can't look up what this person also did uh, uh, because posted it online then most likely you will get a job maybe not at the company who requires a certification somewhere else it seems like in the u.s i haven't seen many job descriptions where it's like they they might say oh it's like a plus to have blah blah, blah but i yeah at least for the u.s like I, I never all the job descriptions i see they don't really they're not necessarily looking for certifications yeah, yeah we sometimes would... they say preferred right this is preferred. Yeah, maybe preferred or something yeah but like if you know i don't think that's gonna yeah from what i've seen i don't think that's holding me back for not having a certification to get the interviews from it's, my experience it, it comes back to the it comes and, and that's absolutely right josh like it, it comes back to the to the view of the uh, of the employer like okay you need somebody who's who's doing the work then you're creating a job description you're putting it out there so what is the goal you want to bring someone in who has the right skills to very very quickly get up to speed and basically spend a hundred percent of the time working actually you know, on the at the peak of productivity like doing the work and not to have somebody who takes very very long to actually learn everything and then yeah mm -hmm. be at peak productivity so this that's why maybe they say um in case 
this certification is preferred because you if somebody has this certification it's very likely that this uh, you don't have to start from zero or this person already knows a lot and you the rest of the training on the job is, is not taking that long so this is one thing if if you don't have that certification but you have a large track record you worked at five companies uh, and worked on the azure platform and did projects with this 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 and this and uh, you don't have a, a certification most likely it doesn't matter because right, you, you can't find or it's very likely that this person very quickly is up to speed and, and and then can do the job it's a bit linked to the automation part that we talked before if it's if the stuff is automated or if they're only looking at what is in your cv and they're looking is there the certification yes or no if no then we throw you throw this uh, this application out then of course you have no chance one thing by the way is one upside with engineering is um, compared to the scientist field is there is not so much competition actually for a job right now so it's easier to not have a certification and get the job than with the, as a data scientist for instance right? because there are so many people applying to a data scientist job you have to do more automation and, and you have to do more more filtering out in the beginning and right now with data engineering, that's a good side that there are not, it's it's growing, but right now it's not that hard. 